Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel guys. We are doing a confession time reading. Revealing some hidden truth. Yes, we are using you know, all things intuitives, the hidden truth deck. Yes, we are to get our confessions. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Your moon, Venus, or rising may resonate. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can always check that one out and see if I was able to pick up your energy there. Let's find out who's coming forward for my Scorpios and what they want to confess. What truth, hidden truth, do they want to speak now? It's for my Scorpios in their person. One more. One more here. Scorpios person, please. Whatever they want to share with us. Here we got one standing up. What else? Anything else? Scorpio's person. Oh, that bottom one. Scorpio's person. Ooh, I almost pushed. Is it two? We're going with it. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, the timing just wasn't right for us. I think Libra. Other, there was at least two other readings that got that. Signs that got it. I wonder if you are happy without me. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm going to put that one on top of the timing just wasn't right for us. I want to be more than friends. Ooh, we've got somebody that wants to come out of friend zone. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to just be your friends. I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah. They want to communicate and tell you how they're feeling. Ooh, let's pull the romance angel oracles. See if we can get a little bit more of the undercurrent energy. It's from a Scorpio's person. Just a little bit more energy detail on the energy going on, please. Scorpio's person. Okay. Scorpios, whatever you want to say with this deck. Whatever you want to bring out with this deck. Scorpio's person. Anything you want to bring out with this deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got that one. Ooh. Guys, really? We're going to take them. All of those flipped over. Let's see what we've got here. So, we've got past life relationship. You have known each other before. Uh -huh. We've got children as an influence. Your love life is being affected by children. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependency. That may have to do with the children. It may not have anything to do with the addiction. Use your intuition. You know you know your person. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I'm learning how to love yourself first. Self-respect and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And new love. New love. So, oh my goodness. Like I said, use your intuition to, to know what your person, because your person popped a lot of these out. Yes, I did. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the tarot. We're using the Heaven and Earth tarot. Right now, sitting on the bottom of the deck, we're not using it as <laughs> their undercurrent energy, but it is an influence on, on your person right now. Two of Wands. It's a young emperor energy. Uh -huh. Two of Wands. And a paused wanting to go forward, move forward. Let's find out a little bit about my Scorpio's person's circumstances around them. The deck's going to fight me, you know. Scorpio's person. A little bit about their circumstances. What's going on with them? Tell us a little bit about the circumstances around them. Yes. I'm feeling that bottom one. Ooh, we've got a Ace of Swords victory. Wanting victory, but also the card about communications. Opening up communications. New ideas, new way of thinking. Circumstances, please. Scorpio's person. Scorpio's person. There we go. I'm popping on now, guys. I'm feeling one more somewhere. I can feel it. There it is. Let's take it. What have we got? Queen of Wands. Aries energy. Ooh, attracting people to you that are very helpful. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Wands. Uh, that's our divine feminine Aries energy. Yes. A leader. 
but yeah being a mag magnet for people to help you but also on fire on fire what else the emperor oh my goodness we are popping some major aries energy that's divine uh, masculine divine feminine on our aries energy wow 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 what else a valor seven of wands defending what is precious to you uh -huh. but also defending yourself the self-respect love yourself first Let's see where we're going with this because if this if this is a representation of your person trying to represent your energy together, y'all might be button heads. Because these are two great leader energies, but it's also a beautiful matching energy. Mm -hmm. Very strong willed. Mm -hmm. What else? We've got a page of pentacles, a standstill card. Page represents uh, earth energy. What is that? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But we're at a standstill. And sometimes the pages will actually represent because we did get children. Children. Next one. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Wow. Being a nurturer. Hmm. Understanding kind of person. Ooh, what do we got going on here in their circumstances? They they feel like they're making progress. They're vic victorious. Yeah, they're wa also warrior. The, like I said, the fact that we got two Aries energy, and I really feel like they're representing your connection with these two energies. Uh, very much compatible, but at the same time, very strong willed. If we if we don't get in alignment with each other, we're not going to get anywhere. We will be at that standstill. Because these two are strong-willed, leader kind of energy going on. Mm, and we might be trying to defend our point of view. With this card, with the Valor card, the Seven of Wands, the one thing that's coming to my mind is sometimes we need to drop our sense of, I'm right, you're wrong. Uh, we need we sometimes we need to drop that and and just go with what is and find that uh, middle ground where we can uh, work together the compromise because uh, our energies here good energy until we until we clash against each other and then it's stubborn not going to move forward kind of energy uh, your person with the pentacles like i said that that page may actually represent that we've got children or children are factoring in somehow but with them bringing in the pentacle energy and the capricorn energy they are focused a lot of our stress and friction may have to do with manifesting material the material world the earth energy the 3d realm so yeah and at, yeah your person what they're really wanting is from the circumstances is to bring in a quality and more than likely they want it from both of you and that they're probably recognizing they also need to bring in this understanding being more understanding uh considerate of each other's feelings and open to hearing each other instead of doing all the friction energy because i'm seeing the ram down here it's like let's quit button heads on this so yeah let's see their desires towards us desires this is my scorpios scorpios person more of their desires towards my scorpios true desires please do we feel that bottom one nope let's find the bottom energy bottom energy there it is it's flipping out Ooh, look at there a three of wands move forward move forward things are better than what we think they are um sometimes the three of wands can represent um where we're the negative side illusions we're too much in in illusions uh and not thinking practical or realistic but it's a good card uh, if you got it in business it would be telling you that the progress you've made and the returns that you're getting the harvest you're getting coming in off of what you've been working hard for is better than what you think it's going to be it's a very optimistic card mm -hmm. but at the same time it could be very pessimistic so yeah 
So, but the, I'm feeling undercurrent energy. The fact that it's coming uh, on that undercurrent energy of the Ace of Swords is very optimistic. Let's see their desires. Desires towards my Scorpios. Desires towards my Scorpios. True desires. Where are we at? Here we go. Right there. Oh, wait. I almost pushed it back. Anything else? Yep. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. We've got a Three of Swords, a Sorrow, Heartache, and this is, you know, it can be arguing stuff, hurting each other's feelings going on. We're going to put it right there. A Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius energy. Got fire, fire up in this reading. Yes, we do. Motivation, inspiration, action cards. And we've got a Two of Swords, the Peace card. Let's make peace. Yeah. And that, that one's coming in up under that uh, Seven of Wands. Of sometimes we need to just let go of being right and, and step into what is and quit trying to defend just ourselves and start defending everything that's precious to us. Is our connection precious to us? Is our partnership precious to us? That kind of thing. To step into true partnership. A two of cups energy. Yeah. Next one, we've got a rest, recuperation, getting clarity. And that's going to be coming in under our emperor, that divine masculine uh, part of the Aries energy. Uh, rest, recuperation, but also getting clarity. A rest in battle. Let me get clarity. What am I doing? What do I need to do going forward? A lot of times when we just let things go, quiet our mind, we see can see things clearly and it calms our emotions down when our mind it calms down and gets organized. Coming in under our a feminine aspect of the Aries energy your person has brought forward. We've got a two of pentacles. Ow. Balance the yin and the yang. Learning how to balance and flow in the yin and yang energy in the connection. Is that not beautiful? This is what your person's desires is. They they want to give it a rest. If they're the if your person is representing herself by the emperor here, they want to give it a rest. They want to come out of their mind. They want to quit being defensive, guarded, and come into that uh, peace, that peace of the two of swords and make hard decisions together, not against each other. If they are the divine feminine energy, they want more. They want the harmony, the balance still. Yes. Ooh, and they want to heal that heartache. They want, with it coming under the Capricorn energy and our Queen of Pentacles, she's a very much a nurturer, nurturing kind of person. She taps into uh, other people, what other people need on a physical, on the physical realm, and she nurtures from that. It's like healing that rift that we got going on, any arguments and stuff, bringing it, bringing in the peace and harmony. Let's see their intentions. Make sure I'm not holding upside down. And on the bottom, we're going to take it. Yes, already going to take it as their undercurrent energy. Sun card, healing, clarity, truth, standing in the light. Yes, well, let's find out their intentions. Do they have any strategies, intentions, any plans going on in their mind? What's going on in the intellect here? What are they thinking? Intentions, please. Subconscious intentions, too, please. Let's dive deep if we need to. It's from a Scorpio's person. See what we're going to get. We already see that truth, the light, the healing, the happiness on that sun card. Ooh, we're getting them, guys. <laughs> yes. What else? Anything else? Anything else? Yep. Oh, okay. We're actually going to get extras here. Yeah, we'll take them. <laughs> Argue with it. Yes. We've got a Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy Communications, better communications being active. Uh, when we're talking about communications, um, we're talking about, when I say active, be an active listener, listener. Be present with the person. Come outside of your own emotions. Quiet your mind, that Four of Swords. 
hear what the person is trying to express to you and and do it calmly because we're talking about being realistic and practical under that capricorn queen of capricorn up here we've got a ace of pentacles Ooh, coming under the page and the knight of wands Ooh, manifesting together lovers gemini energy commitment being committed to each other put uh, can we see this, my Scorpios? This right here is really important in this connection right now. Is put the guard down. Quit whacking at each other. Quit feeling like you've got to protect each other. You know, protect yourself from each other. Start protecting each other. Get on the same side. We're on the same team. Peace. Be committed to it. The love. The true love. Remembering the love between you. We've got also a seven of... Cups, success, yeah. Mm. Sometimes it's a stuck energy, and we've probably been stuck when it comes to making decisions. We're not doing it together, and it's got us stuck. The momentum stuck. Yeah, we need. We need. That's something that we've got to come to a middle ground on. Our next two that jumped was the world. Oh, <laughs> let's move to a new phase and swiftness. The eight of eight of wands, that's ascending to a higher level of commitment with each other. Higher level of commitment with each other, working together to make decisions, not not just one person doing it. And because we got two leader energies, stubborn energies come to the middle ground to make those decisions because you'll move forward a lot quicker. But it's also change. Change the way your connection has been going. Button heads, things like that. The world card. Tie up loose ends. Let's start a whole new phase. This is what your person's intentions are. And what their true desires are. Yes. Healing. Clarity, truth, honesty, happiness. Working together on the same page. Instead of button heads with each other. Let's go ahead and get our uh, tarot in translation. Let's get advice from your higher self, from your guides, my Scorpios, on what you should pay attention to or consider in this connection. It's for my Scorpios, from their higher self, their guides. We're open to the divine. If the divine wants to chime in too with these cards, that's perfectly fine. What does my Scorpios need to pay attention to? What do they need to know right now in this connection with this person? See what we're going to get, my Scorpios. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Ooh, that one's flying out. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah. We're going to three. Let's see what flew out. Ten of Wands. You've been carrying a heavy burden for too long. But partnership is about supporting each other. Remember that you and your beloved are on this journey together. Together, Scorpios. <laughs> together, that's what your person wants. Let's come to the center and work together, not against each other. Two of Swords. We got the Two of Swords. We did. Indece indecision or self-deception is creating a guarded heart. Guarded heart. <laughs> Blocking your connection where you are holding yourself back or wavering in your desires. Yeah. Three of Swords. We got the Three of Swords also, guys. Look at there. Even wounded hearts have the opportunity to heal. Honor the pain from your experience and allow yourself to receive extra love at this time. Extra love at this time. Yes. Ooh, let's go ahead and get a lover's oracles for my Scorpios and their person. And that one just peeked right on out of there. Yes, it did. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Heck, yeah. Let's get on the same page, on the same team. Work together here. We're friends. Above all else, we are friends. We're not just lovers. <laughs> no. We're not just mommy, daddy. If you're you got you know got your parents and kids and stuff, you're friends first. Friends, 
Yes. Okay, my Scorpios, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.